Carrie here with Essential Body Wear's Product Spotlight of the Week. And this week, we're going to feature our Peyton bra. Peyton was introduced in 2021, and it be quickly became a favorite of our customers. For our smaller busted customers that maybe want just a little bit of elevation there, a little bit more push up there and than the Abbey gives. So it has a light push up. It is a, it's a light push-up plunge bra with a touch of lace on the side. And the touch of lace on the side doesn't show through your tight t-shirts, which is really nice. So you got that cute little, you know, aspect of it being kind of sexy. And then it has the smooth cup there. Um, and it has a gradual padding decrease on the inside of the cup, which I can, let me show you, is it this way? Now I will take it off to show you that it also, like our Hadley bra and our Piper bra, it is a convertible bra, meaning you can wear it many different ways. So it acts as a different style bra for different outfits that you want to wear. So now this bra comes in B through E cups in 30 band size. So that's 30 B through E. And then our A through E is our 32 to 38. It is an excellent solution for women who have shallow breast tissue and maybe don't want too much padding or too much coverage. It is really a nice um, uh, added touch for them. So now I just want to quick show you before I go on to something like our Abby's, our best selling bra. This is our 34C cup on that. And then this is the 34C in the patent as well. So you can kind of see right here that it gives you about the same coverage, but keep in mind that this bra has added padding underneath it. And it also has the convertible straps as well. Now I'm gonna take it off just to kind of show you that it does have this gradual padding right here. It's just a gradual, like, I don't know if you can quite see it, but it's right there. So it's not too much, but it's just enough to give you that little bit of a push up. So now this bra, just like the Hadley and the Piper has this amazing little thing that you can just undo right here and take it out and crisscross. And let's see if I can get it unclipped. And they're kind of hooked in there because there's a little like lip on the hook so that they don't just come out because that would be a um, wardrobe malfunction if it didn't have that little hook. I don't know if you can see that with my camera. I hold it up. Do you see that little hook? It hooks in there to hold it because if it was just a straight hook, what would happen? You would have my bra strap goes flying. So now we're just going to go and we're going to crisscross it. Maybe this time I don't twist the things. And again, I don't know if you can see this better on this one, on this color. This is our new color, by the way, too. This is our deep sea. But see, these are the holes. This, you can position it anywhere. So if you need it to your straps move closer to the side, you can still wear it as a traditional bra and move them over as, as close as you can that way, or you can crisscross. So here I am going to crisscross this. Okay, pop these in here. And I think it's easier to do it off the bra than on the bra. And then you would just slide it over your head and put it on. But if you have somebody that there can help you, perfect. If not, I recommend doing it this way and going over your head. Okay, so now over the head, and down we go. Oh, I need to let go of some of those straps. Straps a little bit tight. When you do a crisscross, and go. She goes. And now we have. Okay, we have a crisscross. Woo! Let me fix that tag. Again, this is perfect for wearing when you're coming to the spring and you don't want your bra straps to show when you're wearing a tank top or a sundress that has, you know, we don't want your strap to show. You can put this on this way and then it comes up close to the neck. Now it can be worn another way too, which is our halter way. So now I'm just going to undo these hooks and take it completely down and do a halter, which is also great 
because believe it or not, ladies, we are gonna come into the spring. So now I just remove it from the strap. There you go. I remove the long piece from the strap on the side too. Sorry, I can't quite see. Well, this way, I just wanna show you that you have to do it because those little lips will hang on to it. The Hadley, the Piper, and the Peyton all come with this little piece that is attached and it'll be the color to match the bra, but I'm showing you for color purposes so you can see the difference of how um, that goes on. So now we're gonna come up and around. We're going to hook it here. And then we're gonna go to this side and hook here. And then, Move her strap back up here to the middle. So here we go, voila. We have now turned that into, as you can see, a halter bra. It is a bra that is versatile, that you can change it with whatever your wardrobe styles are calling for that day. It is, like I said, a light push-up plunge bra. So keep that in mind. So if you're wearing, let's say a 34C and a normal bra that doesn't have a bump, bump pad, Perhaps think about going up one cup size just to make room for that extra bump in there. Because when they're making the mold of the cup, it's the same cup as the 34C, but they filled it up with a little bit of um, padding in there. So keep that in mind. So if you normally wear a 34C in a bra without the bump ups or the paddings, then consider going up one cup. Keep the same band size, just go up one cup. Thank you again for tuning in to our product spotlight of the week.